And for some of them, that pledge has also included living without power over the past six days. Uh, that's thanks to last week's historic windstorms. Tonight, our Rod Maloney shows us how they're coping without power, all while uh, trying to continue to serve Detroit's homeless. Father Solanas Casey and the Capuchins have long made a huge difference on Detroit's east side. And here at the St. Benedict's Monastery, fathers and brothers still live here. Around the corner, they have a soup kitchen. But for the last week, and I stress week, there has been no earthly power. We are closed here. You're hearing confessions in parkas with coffee. Flashlights line the darkened hallway stairs. The monks' rooms, 38 chilly degrees. They do have natural gas in the industrial kitchen, which is keeping it at what seems a toasty 60 degrees. It's become the gathering spot. Brother Patrick McSherry says they've sent the older order members away. Just recently, we, we told them they had to get out of the house. It was a health hazard. Yet there's something else missing from Meldrum Street, the homeless. The Capuchin Soup Kitchen that serves at least 800 persons a day is closed. It, it, it deprives a lot of people of a, of, of a decent meal. Marshall Johnson's a client who showed up hoping to get lunch today. But the walk-in fridge is out, 50 degrees inside there. All the perishable food's rotting and will have to be thrown away. Solana Center Director Father David Proust tells us he understands DTE is doing what it can. But seven full days without power is deeply disappointing and dangerous. We're afraid that they're just going hungry when, when something like this happens because any problem that they have quickly becomes a crisis. We got to keep the faith, you know, that things going to work out, you know, and uh, things are going to be back on. Well, the, that faith may be kept here because we, when we were there earlier today, we saw a tree trimming crew, actually about five of them show up. And so they've been working in the neighborhood. I talked to DTE this afternoon and they're telling us that it's going to take 12 hours to restore the power there, but they think that they will have it taken care of by, say, midnight tonight. Back to you. And Rod, I know as you've been talking with those who still don't have power, there's been a, a bit of a theme developing. Yeah, and it's a frustrating one from a lot of the people who have made calls into DTE trying to get help because the person they talk to has a screen in front of them and tells them that they have power. This happened at the monastery, but it turns out that there wasn't power at the monastery, even though it was reading there was power. And so that requires another uh, request to get somebody to come out and fix the thing. Yeah. And so as it stands right now, they're working there, but there are other places where people are saying, hey, I'm standing in my house, there's no power, even though you see I have it. Yeah, really frustrating for a lot of people still as the work continues. All right, Rod.